Hey guys, this is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I am back in Vermintide. I just wanted to go over some stuff real quick, like, um, so, I'm going to show my tunes. Barden and Marcus are both 25, Handmaiden, uh, uh Krillian's 24, and Salt Spire in 20, is 21, and Sienna's 22. I kind of feel that these two guys have kind of, I don't know, they don't seem that popular, I might be wrong, it's just been my experience. But I wanted to go over a little bit of stuff today. So, this is my gear. Um, I have a 300 sword. I do have uh, some other gear that I've outgrown that I just haven't taken the time to break yet. Um, that's the I'm using a bolt staff. I do have that guy over here like so, but um, it's a flamestorm staff and it's 246. Now, the one thing that I will say is I do understand that the beam staff is the strongest staff as of right now, um, but I have been trying to learn all of them, trying to get familiar with them, but I do kind of like the bolt staff, I have to admit. Um, my necklace, I do have a 300 necklace. I just like the block reduction and the push angle. I realize that's kind of useless, uh, but with my sword, I like having the stamp to be able to push and push everybody around and do all of this. Um, yeah, I'm not going to wear that guy. Uh, definitely not wearing that guy. And that's downgrade, so no. Um, I am wearing that. Uh, I do have a potion charm, so there's that. It's 300. Go me. Now, this was... I was kind of torn on this. Um, bigger grenade explosion versus curse resistance. Um... 30.8, in my opinion, is not something to really sneeze at. I realize that that guy has two abilities, but I like the 30.8. Um, looks kind of good uh, when everybody else is kind of low with two uh, Grimoires, and I still have a decent amount of health. Now, the other thing I wanted to go over was I've been doing some reading, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, they'll buff up their, their, their power. They'll have, like, one main... And they're running around, and they get all this gear, and they start running their guys, their lower tunes. Now, I personally have gone ahead, and I leveled everybody kind of at the same time. It's just how I wanted to do it, and I've played WoW for 12 years. So, I understand the gear level of concept. I understand, you know, potentially taking a lower weapon or trink or, you know, whatever, uh, for a better ability, even though something might be a few points higher. Now, with that said, um, with my talents, I went with form of the wind i like that the other two i imagine in different difficulties or situational they might be different i get that i just decided to go with this um i went with fury over the other two again personal preference and i do like the stam regen i like having my stam um i felt that natural talent was the best one out of the other two um, I could see potentially that Dissipate at higher levels, at higher difficulties, might be better. Uh, Soul Snare, I absolutely think this is the best one. I like getting, you know, if you're getting rushed, you throw out some, you get hit a few times, throw some damage, boom, you're back up. I realize it's temporary, but it could get you to the next uh, health pot. Um, I'm probably going to take Blazing Crescendo. Um, damage over... Increase radius and reduce cooldown of living bomb by 30%. I just like the damage. Personal preference, I guess. Um, now, I realize that, like I said, some of these might all have different uses at different difficulties. This is just my setup. I haven't looked anything up to see what the pros are doing or anything like this. Now, one thing I did want to say was for cosmetic-wise, if anybody didn't, didn't know this, because I didn't know this for a couple of days, uh, if you bought the Collector's Edition, you go to cosmetic, throw this guy on down there, and you have the cute little frame for your picture. Yeah, it's purely cosmetic, but I think it looks kind of cool. Um, I do have to break up some stuff, um, but... For now, I just wanted to uh, talk about some of the stuff that's going on on forums. Now, there are a few good uh, threads here and there that have some quality discussion that don't turn into you're a noob, your mom, blah, 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 blah. Cool story, bro. My problem is this. From what I have seen, and I haven't gone and researched every single stat, that Vermintide 2 Fat Shark has been kind of bleeding players. And why is that? Well, for one thing, the whole red drop thing. 
I get it. Everybody wants the better gear, on and on and on. But again, after playing WoW for 12 years and some other games, I realized that not everything, you're not going to get it immediately. Um, yeah, I realized 15, 20 minutes sucks uh, completing something really hard, a deed, whatever you got there, and not getting the red gear. Now, one guy claims that I was reading last night, he's out of seven runs, he's gotten five duplicates of red items. Boohoo. You got seven. Five of them were duplicates. Okay. Um, it does suck, don't get me wrong, but you're getting them. I mean, you're getting them. Why taint your luck? Now, I have read where people have run 150, 200 runs and not gotten one. It's a, it's a gear grind. I, I don't know what you want me to say. Does it suck? Yeah. Would I be raging? Yeah. But it's a gear grind. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I guess the other thing is, is that... I'm not the greatest player, not saying that, but I know how to gear. I, I know what this means. I, I know, I have an idea. I mean, you don't have to, you know, have great experience to know that game after game after game that uses a system like this, there's just times when you shouldn't be in, in a run. I understand that people power leveled a, a single tune, got all this great gear, now, the one thing that I have looked up, I've read Reddit, Fat Shark, Steam Forums, all these places, even gone to, like, PC Gamer, on and on and on, all these places. The one thing that, at least for me, has been difficult is finding out what kind of damage the mobs do. Because if you're a level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in a veteran, it's great that you have, like, a three or four or 500 gear score. The problem is, is that when you get hit, you're getting clubbed like you're that whatever level you are. Now, does gear score help with some of that? Yeah, it does. But, don't get hit. Well, the argument is, well, don't get hit, you don't take damage. Ha ha ha, get good. Cool story, bro, except for one problem. You're going to get hit. Now, does somebody that at level 20 in a veteran take less damage than, say, a level 5 in a veteran with, that, with an identical gear score? My research has proven yes, because I watched somebody get clubbed twice and go down by regular mobs. I'm sure there's people going to argue, and I'm sure if anybody decides to comment, I'm going to be told I'm stupid, I need to research, I don't know what I'm talking about, cool, cool, cool. My point is this, is if you're low level, why, why, you know, why do it? Why not just grind at the level you're at, maybe play a little bit above, okay, cool, but play with your friends, why taint a run? And the other thing I don't get is why people decide that they want to run ahead of everybody. Like, we're still in, like, Africa. We're still in, like, I don't know, France. You're in Africa. And then you start with the name calling. Ha, 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 jerk. Ha, why didn't you keep up with me? Well, because we we're getting back jumped. And nobody likes the back guard. That's the other thing I've noticed. Everybody wants to, you know, run in and grab everything because of the numbers at the end. But nobody wants the back guard. Nobody wants to, you know, help out and stuff. I don't get it, but usually that stuff comes out at the end when everybody is sucking dirt and it, ah ha ha, oh my god, that sucks. No, what sucks is, is that you're a level 6 with a couple of, with a 14 and a couple of 20s, and you're going face down. But I'm the idiot for pointing that out, and how is it your fault? Okay, well then when I guess we get to the end, and your numbers are bad, I guess that's the proof, right? Well, I've had that conversation, that usually turns into your nub, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, you're the guy that died. Okay, you're the guy that died two or three times, or was going face down, sucking up all the healing. I mean, don't get hit. Okay, whatever. So, I'm going to do this run. I guess that's the end of my bitch session. Um... Again, uh, I'm going to be told I don't know what I'm talking about, and that's cool, that's fine. But the numbers kind of prove what I'm saying. I generally try to be careful. I like my living bombs. I'll take a little because my damage, damage I take is connected to my overheat, so if I need a living bomb, I'll take a couple of hits, get some temporary health, and go from there. Not a lot of people really play smart, and that's kind of scary because I made a, a lot of friends in Vermintide 1. I had a lot of, run, friend, uh, lot of runs, and now it just seems like those people aren't playing because of 
what's been going on here. And it's kind of sad. So, I'm not making this up. I know it's not my imagination. But we'll see over time what happens. Personally, I don't mind the gear grind. But there are people that do, and Fat Shark has been, I guess, losing players, as some people like to claim about the numbers. And I would believe it because of the quality of the player that's out there right now. Um, there are still some people that I've seen that are quality players that I don't mind playing with. However, I can't wait for the mods like the quality of life because then I won't have to play quick play. I can just be the play on my own and kick ban people that don't want to play right. And again, I'm sure that that's going to be, you know, you're a baddie, on and on and on, get good. And that's fine. But again, it's my choice. I can do what I want. And if I don't want to play with you, I'll gear my bot, I'll gear up my tunes, get the bots to where I want them, because the bots do seem to be a little smarter, and the quality of life mod always makes them better. So, at the end of the day, there's nothing anybody can really do. If you want to play solo, play solo. And I do know where the books are on this map, so if anybody that's watching this doesn't, I'll be showing you where they are. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's not a good sound. Please don't let there be anybody behind me. Please don't let there be anybody behind me. Oh, Kruber came up with me. How very nice of you. Thanks, little buddy. Uh-oh. Gotcha, bitch. One of the other things I do like doing is that whole strafe thing to the sides, to the back. Sometimes I get in trouble with that, especially in, like, Champion. Now there is a tome back behind this building here. However, I am going to go after... Yep, he's going for the other groom. I think that the tome... Grimoire hiding uh, schematic is kind of cool in this. It's definitely a pain in the butt. And the other one is in this chest. And the other tome is back here. Oh, drink. Curse 
Now the other book, the other last home, is in a cart, in a mine cart, a little ways away. There's usually a uh, boss in there, either a troll or... It's usually a bile troll. I think I've seen the... What you call that thing... The messed up uh, amalgamation, I can't think of its name. I swear to God that thing was behind me. Oh, that sucks. I don't like venting. It's the one thing I don't like doing. Well, I'm going to take one. Or maybe I won't. You don't honestly think they've given up, darling. The warrior rats all have it. I don't like venting um, because of the health loss, and I'll only do it in total emergencies. Yep, there he is. Oh, poop on a stick. Oh, they're just dragging me towards everybody. Alright, but now I'm messed up, which is good. Or, not really. Yeah, that sucked. Is your fire on a temporary HP a great idea? Can it fire from flamethrower? Oh, wow. What the hell is happening here? <sighs> now, I definitely can't, uh... vent here. So that worked out. But now I'm pretty hot. Book, book. Alright, they didn't get the book up there. Alright, so we have book, 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 and tome, tome. So, that's where all the books are in these here parts. Okay, that's uncalled for. It means to kill us as it dies. And we're done with fire for a little while. 
But this is the drawback to taking that health. Is that that temporary health winds up going away. Because now you have to chase to hit things. Take a quick look. Something in the shadows, mate. A little slow on the quick switch there, but. Just what we need. There's danger in the dark. I need a... Where, 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 where? Oh, good. Right.
Why do you keep healing yourself? You're denying me healing. Please stop. I will heal you. Yeah. I don't know how else I could say it. I should have like 70% more health right now. Y'all be... I'll be used the trait. Good for the team. Now I'm just gonna have to use these flies on my chest. I am curious, is there one down there? Looks like a bum! A bum! Yep, 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 gotta stop. I'd usually vent, but I'm not venting here. I don't want to vent overcharge just because Princess Leia got to use this healing thing. As long as he's happy. Poop on a stick. Oh, go away. Yeah, I think we're going down. Okay, I can't really touch the bot. So you guys focus on him and I'll be able to add the garden. Watch for that halberd attack spin. Right, 
Ow, 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 ow. I'm on black and white. Yep. And that's the end of that. Well, at least I took him out. Yeah, this is done. Everything hurts. That's the end of that. So, yeah, that's uh, poop to that, and that's how that's going to go. So, um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Kind of hoping that would have gone better. Apparently, no. Yeah, I took a pile of damage. Mm. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, this has been Helldozer for Zombieland Gaming. Um, if you see, like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again later.